Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been ages, isn't it? I'm Yakis and I'm stoked to have you all here with me again. Today I've got something super exciting lined up. We are talking about harmonic movements. We are taking a stroll through the sunny street of C major chord. I've got some nifty examples for you to try out. Let's go for a piano trip in C. Alright, here is a gem I've been itching to share. My all time favorite. Picture this. We are talking about some seriously gorgeous chords, believe in style. I mean seriously, what sorcery is this? Give it another listen. It's like a magical blend of the second and fifth degrees, all wrapped up, that sweet drop to voicing. This is this is D minor. Jesus, G, A flat half diminished with the 11th, A flat half diminished, D flat sus, D flat 9, and C. We can also note that it's a descending half four scale and we have to hear it. Okay. My blow. Next. All right, let's dive into our next example. This one is from a pianist I absolutely adore, the incredible Robert Glasper. I can't quite recall where I stumbled you upon this gem, but listen up. Isn't it just breathtaking? We are talking about the slick parallel movements of open chords here, specifically those lush major 7 chords with the 3rd knee lead in the bass. Pure magic! In fact, to go to C, I start from E flat. E flat A, F, G, D, but the 3rd on the bass, G, A, B, C, with this type of chord at the right end and move up the keyboard. Practice in all keys. Beautiful. Next. Let's continue our trip with a killer lick from the one and only Curry Henry, to which we can add a 2 5 1 to put in context. So. See what I mean? It's pure pentatonic major scale with a dash of cadence throw in for good measure, Gravino. This leak thrives on speed, so my advice, take it slow, get those fingers moving smoothly and nail down your fingering. Beautiful. Alright, now let's dive into a true chord vamp, kinda like the intro of Mr. and Miss Jones by Bill Paul using C and F chords. And to spice things up, I'm gonna hit that C chord with diminished chord, taking a page from my favorite keyboardists, G3PO and Nick Semrad. The trick here is to hit that G7 sharp 9 the fifth of C in drop to voicing and then resolve to C. So In fact, it 
It's Barry Harris Harmonics method, which you can find everywhere on the web and also in Max Levin's book, Play Around With It and Don't Hold Back. Falls for one final, I've got a little gem that I borrowed from the great Jesus Molinas. You might have it, caught it on YouTube, but I've spiced it up with my own flair, throwing in a few extra goodies, and let me tell you, the result is pure fire. This is the type of lick I burst all of the time for sun checks or as a ram-up, and guess what? It's our grand finale, so buckle up, cause this one's gonna be a tad trickier, a bit longer and the world a lot more intricate, but trust me, it's gonna be a blast. So. It's the end of our piano trip. As we wrap up our video, I really hope you've had a blast and picked up some serious inspiration along the way. Don't forget, take your time with practice and don't hesitate to experiment with transposing into different keys for some wide musical adventures. Now, it's been a lot since I've dropped a video on this channel, so if you've been vibing with what you've seen and you're hungry for more, hit me up in the comments below. Your feedback seriously fuels me fire. Big thanks and catch you all soon. Kiss from Paris.